The next feature we're going to show here is GroupCast. It's a functionality of all share play, and we have two Galaxy S3s here to do this with. And so what I've downloaded here is a uh, just a PDF file. Uh, it's actually a user guide for the user guide for the S2, the Epic 4G Touch, and I'm going to share it with the device on the right here. And so in order to do this, um, this is opened up in Polaris uh, Viewer, which obviously this should work with uh, you know Adobe Reader and other various uh, options which you could use for opening PDF devices. But we're going to go to the menu, and in this application, it's send file, and you get your options here. And so GroupCast is one here towards the bottom. You're given a uh, warning in regards to the function that using it over unsecured Wi-Fi, your information can be vulnerable, so on and so forth. We're going to click OK. And the next item you want to do here is enter a PIN code. Now, your participants, whoever is going to watch this cast, is going to need the PIN code that you enter in here. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to enter in something simple. One, two, three, four. And over our Wi-Fi connection now, it's beginning the group cast. So one thing to keep in mind here with this function, you want to make sure you're all on the same Wi-Fi network, otherwise this will not work. So now that we've got the group cast started, now it's waiting for someone to join the network before it begins its presentation. So what we're going to do is open up all share. Go to the menu, press join group cast. You're given the same notification. And there it's connected. So one, two, three, four. Now it is beginning to connect to this device. So now the device on the left here has started the group cast and now has the first page up. And we've loaded now 26, 27 out of 199 pages. So now you're looking at the group cast in action as we speak. So when I swipe over on here, when I swipe over, it's taking the pin function and actually writing on the presentation. And you can do this on both devices. So the key thing about this is you can change the color, which will inevitably erase what you've already done, but it's not specific to one device. So as both devices can write on the screen, as we go along the way. So when we change the pages here, the pages will change on both devices regardless of which device has initiated the change. So we can continue to flip through and the change is replicated. Going to the menu and in index here, let's say I want to go to a diagram. You can skip to that specific page, assuming that the device is buffered far enough into it to get to that point. So with the larger files, you might have to wait a little bit before you go all the way to page 110 if you've just loaded it up. But in this regard here, we're just going to a few pages ahead in order to share that. So. You'll also find that you can find some general information regarding the status of the actual share here. But here's another key point. So let's say that for some other reason I've accidentally backed out of this. So even though this device is the one that started the presentation, we currently still have it displayed on the device that joined. So now let's go ahead on this device and join the group cast. You see the group cast is still active with the pin code, connect, starts buffering, and here we are. So it's not dependent on one device. In fact, even though this was started on the original white Galaxy S3 here, it continued to stay loaded on the blue one to the right. So just because you have one device on the network does not necessarily mean that that device has to be the one to stay in order for it to continue. Now, of course, the uploading is coming from the file that's on the white S3. So assuming that you know the phone would to turn off or 
to become completely disconnected from the network, it may cause the actual sharing to stop. But in this case, in just a accidentally pressing a button or backing out of it, the presentation continued. So that is the function and some of the key points here of the groupcast. But what I will show is that with groupcast, obviously you can't have the host control completely the groupcast function. So with that being said, if, for example, you wanted to prevent people from writing on it or prevent them from changing pages, right now, Groupcast does not allow you to do that. So those are some of the back, um, I would say, the lesser desirable functions uh, that Groupcast has right now. But if you just want to show a presentation or share a movie or a video, this is great for that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you like this, hit the thumbs up button and hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+.